Hey guys, what's up? Thanks for watching. So I'm your host Monica Ortega and normally I am out traveling if you are new here, but today we are in coronavirus quarantine. Uh, weird times for sure. I know I said I wanted to do more behind the scenes videos this year, but I didn't think I would only be doing behind the scenes videos, but what can you do? So I hope everyone's okay. I hope you all are staying healthy and safe. But I wanted to hop on and just talk about, you know, something that I've noticed is personally affecting me and I haven't seen a lot of people talk about, and that is what it's like to quarantine solo or quarantine single. Um, I feel like in all of the news, they just keep saying like, it's not that bad, just stay on the couch with your family and play board games and get to know your spouse. And it's like, what about those of us that are finding ourselves now stuck inside with no social life, no social interaction, you know, no dating options, uh, it can be a bit hard and I am very worried about people's mental health state and anxiety and depression and all of that that isolation can bring. Um, so yesterday I actually wrote a blog about some things to do and I just kind of wanted to hop on here and talk about some of the things that I'm doing um, that are helping me and that hopefully can help you guys as well. Sorry, I, I touched my face. I'm so sorry. It's just me though. I'll wash my hands, I promise. Um, but yeah, so some of the things that I'm doing to kind of stay sane in this weird time, uh, definitely doing puzzles and reading books. Those are kind of the number one thing I've been doing. Um, but also, you know, using FaceTime and calling up friends and family. Uh, my best friend and I are doing like a gift war where we're just sending dumb things to make each other laugh. Uh, just finding other ways to have that connection still, even though we're isolated. And also doing meetings. I know a lot of people are working from home now and you know, I just actually got off a meeting with JJ and co and it was so nice to have that like human interaction with Zoom or FaceTime or any of those. Um, I think probably the most interesting thing for me is that I've worked from home for the past three years and delivered groceries and there's nothing really changing in my life and routine other than the fact that I can't like get out and have a social life with people. Um, but in terms of like work, it should be the same. And yet I'm personally finding I'm having a hard time getting up and getting into a schedule and getting into a routine, even though I've been doing this for years. So I feel like that's been probably the toughest thing is the energy of the world right now just feels kind of blah. And it's hard to like get motivated when there's definitely days where it feels like none of this matters, um, which is so depressing because it does and there will be an end to this, but like getting into that routine, still getting up, still putting on clothes, still, you know, finding ways to talk to people and scheduling out my time and getting things done. It's super important to keep doing that. Um, you know, using my planner to kind of work through my days and stuff like that is something I need to get better at and get more into a routine because it's, it's easy for me to just get up and want to stay in my PJs and work on the puzzle and it's like, yeah, no one's around, but, <laughs> but I have to keep myself accountable because at the end of the day, this is going to end and it's a matter of like, who do you want to be and what do you want to do when you come out of it? And hopefully, you know, I haven't gained 50 pounds and done nothing with my career. Like I would like to come out better than, than I went into quarantine. Um, but yeah, working on projects, working on business plans, keeping myself motivated, thinking of new and innovative ways to use your businesses or you know keep them alive. I know a lot of people are worried about their small businesses and their entrepreneur life. So some of that's just getting creative. Um, I actually have a consultation tomorrow with another person and JJ and Co. That's kind of what we're focusing now is consultations um, with small business owners and entrepreneurs to help them really come up with a plan to utilize this time um, to build their businesses, even if it's on the back end, so that at the end of this, we come out stronger, we're ready, and we're good to go. Um, so that's been a way to like keep focused, keep distracted. And then also getting outside. I think so much of like social distancing and isolation and quarantine, it makes us feel like we literally cannot leave our couch. And while you shouldn't go out and travel and you shouldn't be around a lot of people and you know, I know a lot of the parks are closed and for good reason, you know, they want to protect their employees and protect this coronavirus from spreading, but it doesn't mean you can't take a walk or get on a local trail. Um, I did a hike yesterday and it felt so good and it was actually really refreshing to not be 
doing it for my best time or doing it for my marathon training. You know, it was literally just to get out and enjoy. And I didn't turn on music. I didn't even run. I just enjoyed the hike. Um, so kind of looking at this as a way to slow down and maybe get in touch with some of those things um, has been nice and refreshing and really good for me. I think so, so many of us say like, oh, I wish I had the time. And I kept saying like, oh, I wish I had two weeks to just catch up on stuff. Here we go, like this is it. <laughs> so finding ways to like get through that to-do list and stay busy and also find things that you enjoy, get back to the hobbies you like, you know? I mean, I picked up the guitar the other day and sang. I haven't done that in probably six months uh, because it felt like something that wasn't necessary. But now these things are necessary because they're going to keep us sane in this time. And especially for those of us that are solo quarantining, you know, it's really important to keep creative flow and also find ways to connect, even if it's connecting with ourself. Um, I started journaling and trying to like get better. Again, it's like I want to come out of this better than when I went in. So if I, if it's taking away the distraction of dating people and going on bad dates for six months, but spending six months actually working on myself, that can be a really positive thing at the end of this. You know, I could come out six months from now and be, hopefully it's not that long, but you know, come on the other side of this and be a better, more whole person who's ready to meet good people. And, you know, I definitely won't take for granted social interactions anymore, friends, networking events, any of that. Um, one other great thing is a lot of um, my events got canceled, like travel events and things like that but they're doing virtual meetups, which I think is fantastic. So I actually got invited to a virtual conference. Uh, there's a virtual meetup tonight for some travel people. Uh, Netflix has their Netflix party. So there's definitely still ways to stay connected. And I know that with the energy down and low, it's, it's really easy to just like shut in and like stay on your couch and get down. And that's the last thing you wanna do. Plus that's only gonna make your health even worse like you're going to be more susceptible to all of this if if you don't stay in a good place mentally and the last thing i'll say is utilize your social media um we live in a really great time of technology and social media that can be a lifesaver in times like this especially for people who are solo inside i know we're so used to just scrolling and double tapping photos but maybe like leave a comment let people know why you liked that photo jump on and do the ask me anything questions and polls and really really interact in the way that social media was meant to do in the first place it can be a nice connection i've had a lot of people jumping onto messages with me and it, before i might not have had time to respond to those and now i'm very much appreciative of those and i'm having full conversations with people and reconnecting with old friends on facebook messenger and it's, it's been really nice. So utilize those things as a way to still feel connected to the world and, you know, just spread positivity. I definitely, I've personally been sending all of the funny memes and coming up with some myself and it's been a lifesaver. Um, asking questions on your Facebook page of, you know, what's your favorite song? Just like connecting with people in different ways. So those are some of the things that are helping me, you know, getting outside, connecting with family and friends online, networking events online, Netflix parties, uh, using social media, different things like that. And then books and puzzles and just try to use this time for self-care and self-reflection and do your best to stay in a good place. We will get through this, I promise. So I would love to hear in the comments what you guys are doing to kind of stay sane and stay going. And you know, this isn't, this isn't a slight to anybody that does have family, friends, or roommates that they're hunkering down with, but I did want to send some love out there to those of us that are solo and in isolation quarantining, but it doesn't mean that we have to be completely alone and completely separate. There are ways to connect, and I'm super grateful for ways like this and the technology and social media that we have today to do this. So sending you guys my love. Stay safe. Stay healthy. I've got like 89 episodes to binge watch if you're looking for something. <laughs> but yeah, until next time, I will see you guys later. Bye.